before I start designing my project, I want to look at the units that I'm using. I'm using millimeters. If you want to use inches, go to that drop down menu and select the IN for inches. I'm going to the top view and then sketch polyline. Zoom in a little bit before I place that first point. I'm going to create a couple of guidelines. That's 15 millimeters to the left and then 30 millimeters straight up in the air. In inches, that's approximately 5 eighths by 1 and an eighth. And zooming in a little bit, back to sketch, polyline, select the plane, and that enables me to snap to that first point, vertically up 5, and then to the left, I want to go 2.5, if I can zoom in, do I get more grid? No, so I'm going to have to go 2.5, just enter that, accept it, up near 10, that one's easy. And a bit of an angle, you want to go up to the next level, which is 10 above, but at an angle of about 165 degrees. One millimeter to the left, and again at an angle. You want to be very careful that it's in line with that top point. So you can hover the cursor over, and you'll see that long dashed line being created. About 155 degrees, and then close the profile. And you can see by the color that the profile is closed. With the profile created, I now want to add fillets to take away those sharp edges. So sketch, fillet, select the sketch plane, one of the lines and the second line. Let's try 0.5 millimeters. That's good. And repeat that workflow. Sketch, fillet, select the sketch plane, and then the two lines. 0.5 should work again, and it does. Now to round off the top of the profile, I'm going to use much larger fillets here. So I'll select the sketch plane. That's two lines. Let's try five millimeters. Yeah, it's probably a bit big, but I'll accept it. Sketch fillet again. The sketch plane. The first line. And then the second line. I want this one to be about 5 as well. Let's see how that looks. Well, that's too big, so I'm just going to drop that back to 3 for the moment. And once I've accepted that, I actually want my profile to be the other way around, but I can fix that quite easily. So I'm going to grab one of those points, drag that to the right. Don't worry about the overall height or width. Those were approximate. That's a little bit better. I wanted a, a bigger radius on the outside. So now that profile is complete, and I'm ready to revolve the profile to create the body of the yo-yo.